reach it, the entrance. My name is uh, Concilia Owire. I'm uh, 23 years of age. My profession is electrical engineering, but uh, right now I'm training as a system locomotive driver. It's morning in the Kenyan capital of Nairobi. The city's new train station, Kinsuya Owire readies herself for another day of learning how to drive Kenya's new high-speed train. Standard Gauge Railway, or SGR. I can say now I've trained for two years, but I'm still assistant locomotive driver, and I'm training to be a passenger driver. The 480-kilometer train line was engineered and built by China as part of its Belt and Road Initiative. It runs from the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, to the coastal city of Mombasa. The 120-kilometer stretch from Nairobi to Naivasha is nearly finished. <laughs> Critical to Kenya's success as a transport hub is Mombasa Port. It's the biggest in East Africa and the third largest on the continent. Operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Mombasa is capable of handling some of the biggest container ships in the world. Neil Davidson is a maritime analyst. Well, the port of Mombasa is uh, absolutely critical to Kenya because it's essentially the only port that Kenya has. It's the, the key port for, for Kenyan trade, and it is the natural port for Kenya. Kenya, it's evolved over hundreds of years, and it's become very well established as the natural gateway for Kenyan trade. The SGR serves as a flagship project for Kenya, one that government officials believe will increase tourism and reduce travel costs across the country. Our people want to travel, our people want to move, our people want to do business, but it is very expensive. This is the future that we envision. This is the beginning of transformation that will create jobs, hope, opportunity, and prosperity for all Kenyans. Opening its doors to the public in May of 2017, the effects of the train are already being felt, from cross-border trade to the creation of 30,000 local jobs. The, the SGR has uh, created job employment for the Kenyan nationals and also the Chinese nationals. This is a project between the two countries and we are trying to, China is trying to help Kenya to go to the next level. The SGR makes stops at seven passenger stations along the route, including the bustling town of Voy. We are the founders of uh, supermarket business here in Voy. Ah, hello, my brother. How are you? Okay? Farouk Mohammed yeah. runs the Caribou That's Supermarket. Up. It's a small town on the cusp of big change brought on by the train line. It sits nearly halfway between Nairobi and Mombasa. The modern railway has shortened passenger travel time between the two cities from 10 hours to four. Yeah, there are more people, you know, in terms of business, our business uh, uh, capacity has increased because we, we are seeing some, you know, people we are not used to seeing. I think it's, uh, it, it's uh, because of this, yeah. So people tend to come to, you know, from where they work in Nairobi and elsewhere, they tend to come more often to their upcountry, you know, homes because of the STR. Long before it was a tiresome, so people used to come every once in a while, but now people come more often. Though people here weren't sure of just what they were getting, they have warmed up to the STR. Not only is it helping local travel from Boy, it's also bringing tourism to the town. People from outside the country, Europe and elsewhere, they, they, they used to, to shy away to come to, to Kenya. But now people are coming and uh, whatever 
people get with the hotels and, and you know the tour drivers and operators they get it trickle down to, to, to us you see when they come they can buy things and even the tourists come they buy you know stuff to provisions to use so I think it's a good thing. Fatuma Youssef is another shop owner in town. Kitambo, tunukua beke yetu. Sasa saa hii voi, tumekua machaganyiko kila ukabila. Tukona wa China, tukona wa Zungi ngini, Amerika, kuna wale wa Europe. Yani saa hii ni kama tunawongeseka. Sasa vile machaganyiko hii na kuongeseka, bia meendelo yetu wa meongeseka. Na tunashukuru. The town sits at the entryway to both Sabo East and Sabo West National Parks. They are two of Africa's most iconic wildlife sanctuaries. Here in Sabo, we usually monitor elephants to know where they are during the different times of the seasons. We have a total of 12,500 elephants. This forms the largest part of the elephant population here in Kenya. I think almost 10%. The new train line now makes Voy easily acceptable and a popular base for safari tourists. Park rangers like Joseph Chala oversee the animals. The species which attract most of the tourists in, here in Savo are the elephants. In Savo East we have the big five, that's the lion, the leopard, the rhino, the buffalo and the elephant. The park's wildlife was a key consideration when building the line. The tracks running through the park actually had to be elevated in order to protect the animal's migration habits. What we are currently seeing uh, is a herd of African elephants. This particular is a cow-calf group, a family group which consists mostly of adult female elephants and also the iron. They are red in color, which is different from elephants from other places because they wallow in mud which the soil is really in color, so that's what gives their red appearance. Elephants are wide-ranging animals, so they need big areas for, for their home ranges. So historically, elephants move from one area to another, so they, they utilize both the southwest, southwest, they even go up to Tanzania. But if the park were there was a barrier between the two parks. Those elephants could not move to southwest and maybe they will die due to that. Dozens of species follow migration routes that cross the new railway line. We are underneath the, one of the six corridors. This particular one is approximately two kilometers long. It serves as both a, as a corridor and as well as a bridge over the Savo River. Joseph knows Savo's wildlife must learn to use these crossing points if they are to survive. Uh, I'm looking for tracks to determine what wildlife species utilized this corridor in the past one day. I believe this is, was from an elephant, but it's from maybe two to three weeks ago. The signs point to elephant and other wildlife passing through this corridor. Joseph and his colleagues will continue monitoring to make sure Savo's wildlife learn to live side by side with the new railway. Back in Voy, not only have they seen an increase in tourism, but even locals are making an impact on the economy. Alikuwa biashara iko katakati hakuwa yani vile sahii tumeendelea. Kitambo tulikuwa tunauza polepole pole. lakini tangu tulianza kujenga kusema kweli unguo sana sana. Mimi ni mama ya boutique hiyo boutique dia yangu. Unguo kwanza ilikuwa inaenda vizuri na chakula sababu watu wamepata kazi barabarani ni kweli hiyo kweli ya mama. Barabara wakati watu ilikuwa ni kila mtu amepata kazi. Sasa maisha ni kama watu besa ni ingia boy sana. The 
Eventually, all of Central and Eastern Africa could be linked by rail. And in a place where paved roads are rare, transporting people and goods can be difficult. But now, the train has potential to completely change the continent. 